I can't spell. Hey guys, good morning. So it is about uh, oh 7:21 a.m. and um, usually I'm up by 6 6 a.m. But this but last night was the first night I got to sleep in my bed by myself. <laughs> And it was so nice. Um, but yeah, so I figured today I would kind of do a what I eat in a day type of vlog. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today. But if you're a new subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell right next to it to get notified of whenever I post new videos. Also, if you want to add me on my social media, everything is in the description box down below. And I guess for this video, I'll plop it up on the screen right here. Um, and again, I am not doing keto. I am doing a mix of keto and low carb. So I'm giving myself more carbs to eat, more simple carbs to eat. Um, I think that's what they're called. Yeah, I'm still new to this whole thing, guys. So anyways, so this morning... Um, I'm just having a protein shake. This is the Atkins Cafe Caramel Protein Shake. Um, I will go through the macros and everything I eat today, I will try to have all the macros down below for it. So, this has 160 calories, 11 grams of fat, 210 sodium, it has three carbohydrates, but one of that is fiber, so it only has two carbs in it and 15 grams of protein. So, yeah, this is my favorite one ever. So, if you haven't tried it, you should go try it. Hey guys, so I didn't get to vlog. I think I took like a little Snapchat video, so I'm gonna put it right now. Um, but I just got done working out. Um, this was the first workout I did since injuring my ankle, so I didn't really do too much. I did the weight, I basically did arm weights, anything I could do sitting down. I did three reps of 10 on the 10 pound weight. And then I did 15 minutes on the bicycle. My ankle, it was a little bit irritated, but not like extremely painful. So yeah, so I just got done with my workout. It felt so good getting back in the gym. I miss my regular workouts though, but now I am at Walgreens. So I need to find some Kiss Lashes and I think Walgreens and CVS are the only place that carry them, but Walgreens is cheaper than CVS. So I do not see my brow pencil, which means I'm gonna have to go to Ulta. They don't even have my, well they do have the vinyl, but they don't have the mat, so yeah, I'm gonna have to go to Ulta. They got Elf here now. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, lashes, kiss lashes. Oh, they have Ardell too. The faux mink ones are some of my favorite from um, Ardell. But Kiss Lashes are uh, <laughs> a little bit cheaper. You know what I mean? Maybe not. Maybe they're about the same price. I feel like it depends which Kiss Lashes you get. Um, I don't. Little black dress. I like those. I don't know which ones to get, guys. Oh no, let me make a decision and I will check back in with y'all and show y'all what I got. So these are the lashes that I got. They are the Kiss Lash Couture and Little Black Dress. I like them because they're not like a really long lash, they're kind of a shorter lash. Um, but yeah, I, I really like these. So now we are gonna head to Ulta. Alright, here we are at Ulta. So I just need to pick up some eyeliner and a brow pencil from NYX because all NYX products are, I'm going to say like 20 or 30% off today and then it's, you get 5 points on your NYX products that you buy for your account. So yeah, here we go. Bob 
Just look and see their lashes. Yeah, they don't have any kids' lashes. If I want to get one half off, do I? Do I want to? I don't know, guys. Do they have any I like? Naked lashes. Oh, these must be new. Barely there. with your natural lashes, soft and lightweight, comfortable. Oh my gosh, I dropped everything, guys. Those are kind of cute. But I think I like these. How much are they? $7.99. Hmm. Invisible band. Maybe I'll give these a try. Yeah, I'm going to give these a try. Ooh, they have the Jeffree Star palette. 35. That's actually really good. And they have a mist. Oh, it's strawberry. Oh my god, that smells so good. Oh, I still want to get some of that. Okay, guys, so I am at the mall. Um, I saw that Bath and Body Works was having a sale on their big three week candles. Three wick candles. They're like $10 off, and they have the fall scents out. So, I'm going to see if they have my scent. There's one scent that I really like. It's called Black Tie. It smells like a man's cologne. I get it every time at this year. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. $10 off of three wick candles. And today's the last day, guys. So y'all need to go. cocoa and cream oh my gosh there's so many I don't like to venture out though guys like so much pumpkin and I do not like pumpkin scents <laughs> so I'm back home um, from the mall and I'm gonna show y'all what I got so this will be like a little mini mall haul <laughs> that rhymes so I have a friend that works at this shoe place I don't want to say because I don't want to get him in trouble but, you know, from time to time, he gives me the friend discount. So let me show y'all what I got for friend status. So I got me some ankle socks because I have lost all of mine. I have no idea where they are. So these are pretty nice. And then <laughs> um, I got some unicorn house shoe slippers because his nickname for me is unicorn. So, yeah. He, he just put them in the bag. So I was like, okay. And then I got me some new shoes. I got some Nikes because I need some new workout ones because mine have holes in them and everything. So I got these black ones. And I like them for weightlifting because um, they're a little bit flatter than those right there. So yeah, got me some new shoes. So y'all saw the lashes I got from Walgreens. I forgot those in the car, so I'll just have to get them next time I go out. But I did go to Ulta, so here's what I got from Ulta. I picked up some more lashes. These are new. I've never seen them. They are from Ardell, and they are the Naked Lashes. And it has an invisible band, and they're supposed to be like really lightweight. These are number 421. So I'm excited to try these. 
Then I picked me up some eyeliner. This is my favorite eyeliner. It's from NYX and it is the matte liquid eyeliner. It's amazing. It's so good. I love a matte eyeliner because this other eyeliner I've been using, like throughout the day, it'll like leave some up here. This one doesn't do that. And you saw in the clip, Jeff, they have the Jeffree Star Scent Mist um, or Setting Mist and it smells like strawberries and <sighs> it smells unbelievable. I totally want to get some. I think it's like $18, but <sighs> it smells so good. <laughs> And then I got me uh, another brow pencil. This is from NYX also, and this is the Precision Brow Pencil, and it is in the color Espresso. And then I saw that Bath & Body Works was having a sale on their big three-wick candles, and they have all their fall scents out, so I was like, I'm going to hit that up, because I like to get a candle after I have uh, visitors or I've been gone for a while just to get the stank up out of the apartment so this is what I got number one like how beautiful is that it's like iridescent but this scent is called crisp morning air and it smells so good it smells like a man's cologne that smells amazing and those are some of my favorite scents of candles to get like black tie flannel um, sweater weather is a really good one, but yeah, this will be another one for my collection that I love because it just smells amazing. I wish I could have gotten more, but I'm trying to, I got to save my money because uh, it's so much going on. But yeah, so that's my little shopping haul at the mall, guys. So yeah, but it's um, almost 12 so I haven't had anything for lunch and today was one of those days that I was like uh it would be so easy just to like stop by McDonald's or Jack in the Box and pick up something but I was like no I'm doing this challenge for myself I need to prove to myself that I can do it that I have self-control but I really do want to stop by McDonald's because it's like right across from my apartment in the mall um like, I would have just loved to get, like, chicken nuggets and a large fry. But I was like, no. I I don't want to put that kind of junk in my body anymore. You know? So, even if I did just, like, eat one meal a day. Because I would do that. I would be like, oh, well, I'm just going to eat one meal a day. So, if I just eat this meal, it's all of my calories, you know, or not even. But I was like, no, it's junk. I can't, I, my body is not going to feel on that kind of food. So yeah, but um, also I redid my macros. Um, so I'm going to put my new macros right here and I will put the calculator that I used. Now I gave this calculator to one of my other friends as she's a little bit bigger than me. And she put in her macros and it gave her like a negative 46. Like, I don't know how that happened, <laughs> but uh, I'll put it right here of the macro that um, calculator that I use. Um, also, I want to give a shout out to another YouTuber. And maybe like a couple weeks ago, I saw he did a reaction video to one of my videos um, about my obesity story. And it was a really awesome video. His YouTube name is What Can I Change? I believe. I will have it right here and I will also have it in the description box, but definitely go check him out. He is on a weight loss journey and he has amazing stories. He posted a story today about going to a massage parlor and the women laughing at him and that whole experience, which was crazy. But he's very entertaining. I love watching his videos. I love his channel. And it's not just because he did a review. Like, I found him because he did a reaction on mine. But I stayed because I love his personality. And he just has really good videos about weight loss and hopefully we're going to be doing a collab soon like doing an interview or a stream so that's going to be really cool but definitely go check him out all right guys so it is about one o'clock so if i'm gonna have me a little snack i guess i need to do it um i just got done mopping my kitchen so but i ran out of the the swiffer jet stuff so <laughs> it's 
one of them days. So yeah, I'm just gonna make me a little snack. I'm just gonna cut up an apple. <laughs> I can hear my boyfriend now. <laughs> It is about 3.30 so I'm going to get going on my dinner because it does need um, just a little bit of time to cook and since it does have tomato sauce in it, I like to eat it uh, before a certain time because I don't want it to mess with my heartburn or anything like that. So I'm making Frito pie. So if you don't know what Frito pie is, it's a Texas classic it is a layer of rice layer of texas chili a layer of cheese and a layer of fritos and then you could put lettuce or whatever else you want on it but i like to keep it pretty simple so that is what i'm making the macros aren't that bad on it but i do have a video showing how i make my chili so i'll have it linked up above if you want to check it out and also i'll have it linked down below too so yeah Let's get going on my chili, guys. But first, I gotta turn on music to listen to. So, what should we listen to today? I already know what I'm gonna listen to because I've been listening to this non-stop, guys. I so need a new phone. I have an iPhone 5. I need to get a new one. So, we're gonna be listening. Let's see if it'll pick it up. To Beetlejuice, the Broadway musical because i love it <laughs> all right guys so let's get going on the texas chili Ready? okay hi i'll be your guy i'll be your g-u-i-d-e to the other side use one of these little minute rice cups you basically just take this off pop it in the microwave and you cook it for a minute I usually if I'm only having one bowl I will have half of this but if I'm having the whole thing I'll you know if I'm having to, if I'm having two bowls I'll have the whole thing which I haven't really eaten much today so I'll probably will have two bowls so yeah so I'm going to cook this rice make my bowl and i will come back and share the macros with y'all okay guys so i have my rice <clears throat> excuse me in the bottom and this is a chili now i can get usually about five servings out of this um of course if i don't eat as much you know you can get more so i'm just gonna put some cheese <clears throat> And I personally like to have my Fritos on the side because I don't like for them to get soggy. But yeah, so this is going to be my dinner tonight. Um, I'm probably going to have two bowls of this just because I haven't really eaten that much today. So 
Uh, yeah, oh, but let's go over the macros, guys. Um, I'm gonna list all the macros right here at the bottom. Um, I'm gonna post the macros for the whole pot of chili, and then I'm gonna do it for one serving of Frito pie. So for a serving of Frito pie with the half of cup of rice, it's 606 calories, 29 grams of fat, 32 grams of protein and 42 carbs. So like I said before, I'm doing low carb. I'm not doing keto anymore. And I just find with me working out, it just helps if I have a little bit more carbs into my system. Of course, the Fritos is not really the best carb, but I mean, I wanted Frito pie, <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna have. Um, and rice definitely helps with the working out and everything like that for your muscles. So. Uh, but yeah, this is my dinner, so I will check back in with y'all um, at the end of the day, guys. Okay, guys, so this is my second serving of chili. Um, and you can see I ate um, a little bit more than half of it, and I'm just full. Like, I just can't. <laughs> Obviously, um, the my macros for today are not like true macros because I didn't eat the entire second helping. Hey guys, so it is about five o'clock and I'm just going to wind up this video because I'm not gonna eat anything else for the rest of the night. Usually I try to not eat past six or seven o'clock just because I find my body works better and especially something that has like tomato sauce like that chili I like to eat it early because I will get super bad heartburn um, you know if I can eat it early and today I was able to eat it early so but I kind of just want to come on here and address something that I posted on my community tab and um, it was basically saying that you know I've been seeing all of these people doing um, group streams talking about weight loss and everything and I, I was just being salty <laughs> that's all it was um, I definitely appreciate everyone that does watch me and that does find inspiration in the videos I post I definitely appreciate it it's just you know when you put a lot of work and effort into things and you feel like you don't get it's not that I feel like I deserve the recognition but it's like I have a unique outlook that I could put on it you know being that I weighed 420 pounds and I've lost a hundred and I still struggle every day with my eating habits with binging with all of those things but I'm still trying I'm still working out every day I'm the biggest person at the gym and I've had it where you know guys have like laughed at me and pointed at me but I'm still going to the gym I'm still making an effort to make changes for myself and I've had thyroid cancer I I have a heart disease on both sides of my family I have so many things that are working against me but I'm trying to do better and I just feel like I have an outlook that I feel like all these like group conversations could benefit from and it's like you see all these people blowing up and it's like I've been on YouTube for 10 years and I'm only at 3,000 subscribers and it's just like I just I wish I knew the magic thing that I could do to like blow up on YouTube but obviously I don't and I probably never will I was just being salty in that post and uh, I apologize for anybody I might have offended or anybody that watches my videos that thinks that that was stuck up or insincere because I never want to come across that way <laughs> at all I was just being frustrated in the moment and you know you you just see like <sighs> all these people that I've never even heard of and that there's just like blowing up because this big youtuber is featuring them or this big youtuber is having them on their channel and it's like like really like I 
I, I can't get anything. But that's okay. That just means I have to try harder and I have to scrounge a little bit more. But that's been my entire life. I have had to scrounge for every little thing that I have. So, yeah, I just wanted to address that. But I will have my daily macros right here. All the macros that I ate today will be down here and it will be in the description box down below. So, yeah, but thank you for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this What I Eat in a Day. And another thing I need to address before I go is that my daily macros have changed because I'm working out more and I am switched to low carb. So I'm eating more carbs now. Um, I know I do not eat anywhere near my calorie amount. I know that. I know I need to eat more. I know I need to eat more fat. I know I need to eat more protein, <laughs> like I need to eat more in general of the good food. Um, but Rome wasn't built in a day, um, I I'm trying to do better with my eating and I, I have a really bad habit of being in the mindset of, you know, well, if I eat as little as possible, then that means I'll lose more weight. But obviously that isn't true or else I would be skinny. Um, I've been trying to lose weight for going on four years now. And it's like I plateaued at the 100 pound loss. Um, so I know. I know I don't eat anywhere near my macros or near what I should. But I'm trying to do better. I am going to do better. I'm going to eat more of the foods that I need to be eating. Um, but yeah. So anyways, but thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. So thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye.